Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. This is take three at filming this video. I filmed it twice yesterday and the first one got cut off because I was distracted by Keanu and then the second one was good but when I went to upload it, I uploaded the one that cut off. <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. Um, and I deleted the second version, so the, the finished version. So let's just get into straight into it and I'll probably do this super quick this time because you heard most of it. Um, <laughs> so over here, I just like to have a record of it, though, even just for me to see all my page spreads and what I was thinking at the time. So here we go again. The prompt for July was dreams. <laughs> And I used um, ballet as the backdrop just to give the page something visual to look at. And I got these images from Geo Nun. So thank you so much, Geo. I love them. They're from Daphne's Diary. And ballet is just so beautiful and it inspires me. So it's a good thing for me to have on the page for this. And it's a symbol of dreams coming true and going after your dreams. That's why I put it there as well. And this page spread is more like a brainstorm. So there's lots of different sections and different things and thoughts and stuff. So we'll just go through it in the order that I wrote them down. <laughs> so first of all, ballet reminds me that it's never too late to go after your dreams. If it's in your heart, go after it. So this whole idea, I've shared this before, where ever since I was a kid, I wanted to do ballet, but never did. And then finally at the age of 26, I, well, I was thinking I just have to give up on this dream. It's, I'm too old. The, that ship has sailed, you know, but the passion was still in my heart. And so I finally signed up for a beginner ballet class for adults and loved it. And <laughs> um, so glad I've pursued that. And now because, you know, my dreams have come true, maybe not in the ways that I thought I would as a kid, but I have danced in a production, a musical theatre production and auditioned for it and I uh, got a part in it and danced in a tutu and a tiara and now I've got point shoes. So all these kind of dreams came true. Even the Queensland Ballet, we took a class with them. So it, it's just been so amazing. And imagine if I never kind of followed that inkling in my heart and just was like, oh no, I'll give up on that. <laughs> but that fire or that that's inspiration was still there burning and I just decided to listen to it and I hope that's an encouragement for whatever is still burning in you or whatever is in your heart it's there for a reason if it's not dying like after year after year after year if it's still there then listen to that and go after it <laughs> and I still dream of one day dancing on point so I've got my point shoes but I'm only doing exercises on them like rises and things and one day I'd love to do an actual dance on point I'd love to do proper pirouettes and arabesques and maybe even perform an adage because um, I'm definitely an adage girl I love the slow graceful movements and the leg extensions and the flexibility and the control oh I love it it's just the most beautiful thing it can bring me to tears Whereas other people more allegro people, which is dynamic and the jumps and the energy and that. Whereas, no, I'm like the slow, graceful. <laughs> um, anyway, so over here, then I wrote a bit of a bucket list and started off with some things that I have done so far, just as an encouragement to myself to know that you can tick them off. Things like wear a tutu and tiara, get point shoes, perform an audition for that musical, write a book. That was a huge one. That was my biggest ever goal. So I'm glad I've actually done that one. Finally, you know, when you have a dream or a goal that you just, oh, I'll get to that in the future. And then it never comes. You just like keep putting it off. <laughs> so I'm just so glad I finally was like, nope, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so other ones that I would love to do is swim underneath a waterfall, watch a sunset, and then watch the following sunrise. So do an all-nighter. How fun would that be? Um, go to a lookout, pack a picnic, pack a deck of cards, um, have a list of to topics to talk about, and just really go deep with people. Oh, it's just ah, so fun. Have my camera, take a photo of the sunset, take a photo of the sunrise. <laughs> That's a bit of a little uh, dream of mine. Go to WA, Western Australia, because it's the only state I haven't been to in Australia. Um, but also, my football team comes from Western Australia, so I would love to watch an Eagles game 
a home game in their state because I think that would just be amazing, the atmosphere, being with other Eagles supporters. Yes, I'm a footy fan. <laughs> I love my football. Maybe even go to a grand final one year. That would be kind of cool. Um, also go to the Australian Open because that's pretty amazing that um, how there's only four Grand Slams in the world. So I love tennis as well. <laughs> there's only four Grand Slams. Glams, bleh, grand Slams and Melbourne, my hometown where I grew up, Melbourne had one of them, like in Australia and Melbourne. So uh, all my family, well, most of my family is still in Melbourne and I go there every year for Christmas and everything. So it's still home, always will be. So that's really a doable um, goal. Uh, and maybe even I would love to um, go to all the Grand Slams. Um, I think it's France, Britain and America, <laughs> just for fun. And then, yeah, another little goal is to travel overseas. Okay, then over here, I just wrote my 2019 goals. And basically, it was just one main tangible goal, which was to write a book and publish the mental health art book. And just some things here for me to do, um, get a book team together, do fundraising, which I'm doing this month or, well, we started last month and I'm keeping it going. Marketing, which I'll have to look at later, I guess. I've got a quote for the book and everything. I've got feedback for the book, got to still edit and I've got to get a design and I've got to get a cover for it. So those are things I still got to do. Um, and then the other kind of just overall overall goal for the year is just to give Willow Bound Journals 110% and see what happens and then reassess at the end of the year. So basically for me it's like note to self try different things because I tend to stay safe and just in my comfort zone and uh, do things that I know <laughs> what they are rather than stepping out and trying something totally new. So I think I've done that pretty well this year um, you know starting the journal prompt challenges then there was the bible junk journaling and Patreon, that was the biggest step as well. That was totally scary. <laughs> um, and then just make journals, keep doing Etsy, keep doing YouTube, you know, putting in that time to take photos of my work and create listings because that does take quite a bit of time and effort and all that kind of stuff that goes along with this whole thing of replying to comments and um, all that customer service stuff, <laughs> um, postage and shipping and wrapping and packaging, um, putting in all that effort and just giving 110%. And then, yeah, I'll just reassess at the end of the year and go, you know, is this something I can see myself doing for the rest of my life? Is it something I can see myself doing for the next 10 years of my life, next five or even another year of my life? And we'll just see what happens. But I guess the dream overall in that regard is to make a living from creating and then for Willow Bound Journals to be a full-time job. And it actually is now just kind of scraping in there to be a part-time job. I was, it was looking like I may needed to um, look for a second part-time job. Um, but Patreon has stepped in and it has become, uh, it's just gotten me over the line to have that as a part-time job now. So I'm just so thankful to of my patrons, big shout out to you guys. I really appreciate you guys because you literally are making my dream come true. So thank you so, so much for that. Um, and then another dream, the dream bank, helping other people's dreams come true. And yeah, this is one of those dreams where I thought, do I just give up on it? Is it something that's just not really anything? Because <laughs> I announced it a few times through my blog and my channel over the f last few years or so and no one ever seemed interested or anything and I was like oh okay cool whatever <laughs> I, will, I might just let that one go but then I announced it again this year and people were saying how it inspired them and another lady even contributed to the dream bank so even if that goes no further that's already just been a dream come true in a way for me as well. Like, oh my gosh, how how amazing. <laughs> um, and then other little tangible goals are just to get a desk and lighting for better filming uh, and creating experience as well and just create an art studio. And then over here, this is more my brainstorming and just journaling my thoughts and just thinking, what is my dream? And how I'm not actually sure at the moment because Willow, ba Willow Bound Journals hijacked everything. Like, I, it was never my plan, this whole Willow Bound Journals thing. It just kind of happened step by step by step that I fell into it. So I discovered journals, I started making them, started showing people, and people started buying them. Then I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll start a YouTube channel, started it, and then 
Um, people were like, can I buy them through Etsy? I was like, no, I don't have an Etsy. And they're like, can you start one? I'm like, okay, I'll start one. <laughs> and then that just got on a roll. And and now I've got a Patreon. And oh my gosh, I've got all these challenges going and the Will Evangelist Facebook group page. And it's just kind of exploded. And it's so, so crazy, this whole journey. And I'm so, so thankful. Um, but it's all God. That's the point. Like, I didn't plan any of this. And it kind of scared me, like, it really scared me because I'm just like, what is going on? This is like, what? This is crazy. <laughs> and I was just chatting to God about it and he was like, remember that word I gave you? Um, I got a word a few years back where someone prayed over me and said that um, my mouth would speak words of life over people that weren't spoken over me and that my hands would do the work. And he just said, remember that word? This is it coming true. And I was like, Ah, oh, okay. Well, all right. Now it makes sense. And it took away the fear because I thought, well, God's in it. Therefore, I can keep going and I'll do my part and I'll give it my everything because God's just been so great giving me this amazing gift of Willow Bound Journals. Um, but the idea being, I'm not sure what the plan is or what the purpose is. And if it isn't helping people, then I don't want to do it. And if it's just becomes about me, then I don't want to do it. I just want it to stop. And I always say to God, you know, if it ever becomes about me, just end it. <laughs> but as long as it's helping people and making other li other people's lives better, then I'll keep doing it. And that's when, whenever I doubt that it's even making an impact, I just get like an email or a message from pe people or a comment saying, you know, that video really spoke to me or that um, inspired me to make a journal or that you sharing about mental health really helped me through my own mental health stuff. And I was like, oh, that's amazing. I'll just keep doing it as long as that happens and as long as I can see that bigger purpose and all that kind of stuff. And the other idea that I'm already kind of living my dream. I have more than I want or need. I'm creating every day. So, um, yeah, I always want to make sure that I am enjoying now because I tend to always think, oh, things will get better later or things will be awesome later. And it's like, no, 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 you got actually everything you need and want right now. Enjoy now. Um, and that whole idea that, yeah, I could do this even without YouTube and without Etsy and everything. I could do this for my own self and enjoy it. Um, but as long as it's helping others, then I'll keep doing it in the public forum of youtube i suppose and etsy um and just to appreciate every day appreciate each day don't just chase a goal don't just chase the end view of for me working full-time in willow band journals i could get so caught up on that instead of just realizing hey i'm doing what i love every day and that's awesome and regardless of if willow band journals becomes full-time or not it doesn't matter because every day i'm enjoying creating <laughs> okay guys so that is my quick version of this page spread and i will see you guys in the next video bye